Well, I'm trying something out <clears throat> new. Well, it's not really new. Um, as you know, I'm trying my very best to uh, try to be as self-sufficient as possible and grow as much food as we can. And I'm doing really well with the hydroponics. They're doing great, but the problem is, is um, I'm uh, getting too high of a cost in terms of the um, the pumps and the aerators and things like that. So it's costing quite a bit. And I don't, you know, I don't like seeing that bill, you know, come in and, you know, see an extra, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks um, with, a, you know, electric use. And, you know, I do have solar panels hooked into the house on a grid tie inverter and everything. But, you know, I want to be able to just have everything solar if possible. So what I ended up doing was my father-in-law got me these batteries. These are batteries out of emergency lights. And I pretty much am just using things that I have laying around the house. Uh, the only thing I bought was this 12 volt timer. And so what I did was um, I took this battery, um, wired this battery to the 12 volt inverter, hooked this 12 volt inverter to a female cigarette lighter and then I had this 100 watt cigarette uh, lighter it was a DC to AC inverter um, so what I want to do is be able to hook up everything and uh, use this digital timer and I've tested it with lights and everything and it works um, it's only 100 watts but it should be able to power one pump and uh, one or two or one water pump and one to two air pumps um, The other reason why I'm going from DC to AC instead of getting solar powered pumps or 12 volt pumps is the 12 volt pumps don't uh, I Have well First off I have these pumps say I already have these pumps so I need to go from DC to AC and um, a lot of these pumps don't have a high head lift and um, I need to have a high head lift because my reservoirs are pretty low compared to where my plants are. So, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and uh, show you how it works. Alright, well, I have the water pump just sitting in a five gallon bucket. Probably going to get sprayed here. I'm going to end up regretting it because I have my camera. But uh, the same pump that I'm going to use, it's in a five gallon bucket. Um, then it's plugged into this 100 watt. Um, power inverter and then here's the timer now this timer has a manual on and off that's a little finicky but this is a nice digital timer so I can set the uh, pump to turn on for five minutes and shut off opposed to the manual pin timers where you, the lowest I've seen them is you know every 15 minutes you can turn them on and off which is not what I want so let's see how we do this All right, so it turned on. And it's working pretty good. So we'll go ahead and shut this off here. All right, well, that's awesome. We know it works. It works well. Um, a few other things I need to do, as you can tell that I have this sitting in a cooler here. Um, I'm gonna put in uh, a fan, a small little fan to kind of keep it uh, cool because the operating temperature of this, this, um, this will get pretty warm and then also the power inverter is going to get um, fairly warm so and it has a fan on it already so I'm going to put a computer fan in the side just to kind of help circulate the air um, and that's really about it so I have uh, two or one system right now well I have two systems but I decided to um, shut the one down this year because it uh, it just wasn't doing very good and um, it was just wasting money for for really nothing and then um, 
I'm going to take this system or this and uh, plug it into the other system, charge it with some of my solar panels that I have, some of my old Harbor Freight solar panels, and uh, that should maintain this battery just fine. And then um, build two more over the winter time. And of course, I don't have spare charge controllers sitting around, and I don't have any more spare 100 watt power inverters, but this was $7.99 on Amazon, and this is 18 bucks, and I'll have a 20% off coupon at Harbor Freight, so it'll save me a few bucks. I do have a, a spare battery here. I have another one of these spare batteries, so, um, but pretty excited. All right, well, I hope you enjoy, and uh, check back for another video.